No one can deny that one movie, we've been waiting for a sequel on none. Music 2 is exactly what you think it is. It's a sequel to The Nun in the Conjuring Universe. It's directed by Michael Chavez, who's been the director of other Conjuring Universe movies. I haven't given a each a guck about, so I'm just going into The Nun too, being like, all right, here we go again. I'm not going to lie to you for the first half of this movie. I was bored out of my skull. Probably would have helped this being a sequel to The Nun if I had remembered anything about the first Nun movie, but when I say... I'm just not going to remember this one in T-1 day. I mean, it. I didn't remember anything. The movie does do a good job at filling you in. It's almost like they understand that I appreciate that they understand people are going to fall into two camps. People who haven't seen the first Nun movie and people who don't remember the first Nun movie. Yeah, for the first half of this movie. In terms of the horror. It's all horror movie. Techniques that you've seen a billion times before, is it even possible for us to see something a billion times over in this short blip known as Life by God? When it comes to movies, sometimes it feels that way. My thought was Tay's JFR Mega is too good for this. In fact, I don't mind saying she carries most of the film. She was really good compelling, has that sense of vulnerability. But the things that are happening are happening at this boarding school, and she's not even there yet. Now you're hanging out at this boarding school. If you're not inundated with horror movie techniques, you've seen a billion times before. You're dealing with, that's right, schoolyard bullies, because that's kind of, that's what we have to fill the daytime with. There were a couple of cool, if not unexpected deaths. I do appreciate that there was a cool, standout magazine stand moment of imagery but they showed that in the trailer would have been far cooler if i didn't know it was coming when i saw the magazine stand i was like here we go that scene that was cool in the trailer and cool now doesn't change the fact that for the first half i do reiterate the first half of this movie i had that light bulb moment i was like this is why people are douchebags in movie theatres. Why they got to get on their phones with their bright-ass screen glaring, ruining the experience for everybody? I usually get pissy when I see that. Because it's a movie is like, hey, I want to be engaged, I want to at least try. But in this movie, I understood I was like, God, I wish I was a douchebag right now. Go for some eBay. Sniping in the movie theatre right this moment. For the life of me, I finally understood you still shouldn't do that. That's a dick move, but I'm just saying. Boredom can drive you to really dark thoughts, like going on your phone in a movie theatre. But I gotta say, the second half of this movie far better than the first half. It's never scary in terms of a horror movie. If you're looking for that horror movie that's going to scare the living uh, out of you, this is not it. Nothing in this movie scared me, but in adult life, you come to grips with the fact that movies, generally speaking, are less scary at this point because the things that scare you are not that things that scare you are no longer ghosts in the shadows anymore. You wake up in a flop sweat like, oh God, I did pay that bill, okay? Oh, it's just a nightmare. Adulting is far less interesting, my friends, but it's just the way it is. But if it's not going to be scary, at least be entertaining. And I felt the second half of this movie had some really entertaining visuals. Even a little bit of Raiders of the Lost Art going on, you'll kind of not exactly. But you know what? The crystal and the the light. Kind of, it's almost like there was a realization like, okay, we're not really that scary. In fact, we're breaking no new ground when it comes to horror movies. So we're just going to be entertaining. And look. Kind of cool, all right done, that's when I started enjoying myself with the tension, if it's not going to be scary. At least be kind of badass, use that Catholic guilt law as a weapon, hell. Yeah, here we go. We're taking on evil, even at a couple of emotional moments, again sold by Tasia Farmiga's performance, that's why I say. She carries the film in the end, I'll say, and with a caveat, 
This movie probably be a fun enough time. If you're drunk, yeah? Now it's a party perfect with drinks for the upcoming Halloween party this October. The caveat being, just fast forward on tea. L about halfway through the movie from then on. Probably have fun. So you've been waiting patiently with bated breath, and you finally get to talk about the nun. Two, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below. Let me know, and as always, if you like what you've seen here, and you want to see more, click right.